everybody! Welcome back to the Wi-Fi Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with my uh, my lovely co-host. Uh, sometimes, uh, uh, my good old I'm, friend I'm Gummy. Gummy. <laughs> I'm Gummy. You, you sure, Mary, everybody? Merry Huffmas and Happy Holidays. Yes, even though this is <laughs> go up the cheek. Uh, it's never too early. All right. Yeah. All right. It'll be like a legend in on this channel, like the Mariah Carey song, where like every season this thing will peak in popularity and then just like right off the rest of the year. Actually, I think My Little Pony calls Christmas a, a hearth's warming tale. Really? You, you can tell me. Yeah, there's a whole episode about it. I I used to be obsessed, obsessed with My Little Pony in like middle school. I, I know the male ones are called bronies. Is there a name for the? I called myself a Pega sister. That's right, yeah. I couldn't remember because I always, whenever I hear about My Little Pony fans, I always hear bronies and like those, like those, like old yeah. men. Not really old, just too old for My Little Pony. <laughs> they have an interesting reputation for sure. Yeah. I well, used to watch bronies react all the time. I'm so glad that I've never been exposed to any of the, uh, the stuff like Smile. Or... Yeah, cupcakes. Yeah, what was the other one? Like something, someone gets pranked. I can't remember their name, but it's like the, the grayish Pegasus, blonde hair. I think their eyes Derpy. go in different directions. Derpy. Yeah, Derpy gets pranked. I'm glad I uh... never got to be subjected to that. Yeah, you are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Well... But that didn't give away what we're going to be reading. Uh, to celebrate the holiday season, I guess the end of the holiday season, depending on when you re like watch this. Uh, we're going to be reading a a holiday-themed fanfiction. And what better holiday fanfiction do than a My Little Pony fanfiction? Oh yeah! Me, ten-year-old me would be so hyped right now. This is, this is your inner child right here. They're going to be so happy. Uh, I hope they're... <laughs> I hope they're not disappointed. <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! Alright. Would you like to read the synopsis here, or whatever it's called? Absolutely. Okay. Alright, just another Christmas. Caroling Bells is bored. It's Christmas. Just another boring Christmas in Ponyville. And it seems like every other pony was busy with friends, family, and their specials. And their special some pony. Oh. I got it now. <laughs> yep. The ending everything with pony is very common in this series. Yeah. Presents and some other boring thing. At least they knew what it was. Wait. At least they knew what it was like to have fun on Christmas. They weren't stuck in a boring orphanage. <laughs> wow, that that was random. Yeah, that was that was a jump. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these people having a fun time on the holidays. Here's this random orphan girl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Caroline Bells felt like. Yeah, it feels like. Feels like something. Wait, I'm fun. <laughs> That's okay. Your little bells, bells, like, changing <laughs> that note. <laughs> She's tired of boring old Christmas. She seems determined to make it more than just another Christmas for these holidays. Which is capitalized. Yeah. Hashtag bells. <laughs> hashtag caroling. Hashtag Christmas. Hashtag fanfiction Friday. Hashtag holiday. <laughs> hashtag My Little Pony. That's so awesome. Just another winner. Yep. I... And apparently this isn't an actual pony, this is apparently an OC, so I gotta respect the hustle. They could've just copy and pasted, like, Rapidash in here, but they True. didn't. True! Rapidash? I don't know, that was the first <laughs> pony that I thought of. Or, like, awesome. Fluttershy, or... Yeah, yeah, that's a pony. Yeah, that's in, a... in the show. Applejack, that's one! Yeah! <laughs> there's Rarity, there's Pinkie Pie... Uh, Twilight Sparkle. Oh, dad. Maybe I that do know more. That was my favorite. Maybe I do know more about My Little Pony than I <laughs> Yeah, glad you didn't get too deep. Yeah. But the, I just right. know the main six, and then there's that, like, cool, so I think, like, Queen Celestia, I think, and then she has, like, Prince a sister. Wait, Celestia. the princess? I thought she was a queen. Yeah, they're all... They're all princesses, even yeah. though it would make sense to be a queen. There, there's Princess Celestia, Princess Luna. That's right. And the pilot, she was Nightmare Moon. 
and uh, she was jealous or something. And Princess Cadence introduced a few seasons later, mm. and Princess Twilight Sparkle. Spoilers. Yeah. Anyways, Is this like a dragon or no? Uh, they might have had a couple. Maybe you're thinking of Discord, like like the the Living Tombstone song. No, it was like a purple dragon. With oh, like Spike! Yes, yeah, Spike. <laughs> Bike. Dude, I'm yeah. so smart. And I remember that one song from My Little Pony. Is like, I don't care. Wait. Yeah, well, it was like a wedding song where this girl was gonna get married, but she didn't. This get it. day is going to be perfect. I loved that song. <laughs> yeah, it's from the wedding special. Yeah. All right, I am on just another winter. All right, me too. Oh, fuck my mouse. Uh, including <laughs> this random song that I cannot play due to copyright. Yeah, it goes, uh, here, I'll just sing it. Da-da-da-da-da, it's acapella. Oh, gotcha. Uh, do I- Oh, I can flip my- my candle lid! Let's go! Awesome. <laughs> Alright, do you want to be the part that says White Barn, or do you want to be the backside? Huh? Oh, it's the candle lid, it says White Barn on it. Uh, I'm reading I sighed and it s and stared out of the snow-covered window. Oh, uh, I meant, like, who reads for- <laughs> Oh, how do I get to that? Start reading. Uh, no. No, I was just gonna flip, like, a candle lid that I had to see who- Oh! <laughs> oh! I was like, what the fuck you the hell are you talking about? <laughs> You're Sorry crazy, about that. you man. White barn, the fuck? Uh, the- the white one. <laughs> Our- Our- You get to read, buddy. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I know, this is gonna be your favorite. You could be Moodlit Star, who's coming up shortly. Oh. I sighed and stared out of the snow-covered window. All around, ponies were caroling and getting ready for Christmas. While well, I was stuck here in a furry hoof orphanage. <laughs> I glanced around the room where my five orphan sisters wow as we all called each other were messing around it looked like they had just come in from the snow i think they were out when i was sleeping one of them a white unicorn with a black mane named moonlit star came up to me that's your turn oh shit sorry <laughs> i was lighting the candle is it the oh yeah finally the, the beast awakes! I smiled. She was always joking about one thing or another, and always had at least seven different <laughs> different ways to cheer me up. That's very specific. It was like she could tell when I was sad, bored, lonely, or anything. Yes, I said. The beast has awakened, and it will eat you! I jumped at her, and she shrieked and ran away. Eventually, the others joined, and they were all on my side, which made it very hard for Moonlit Star to run away. But we were having fun. At least, we were having fun till Curiosity, another of the po another of the ponies. This time, a gray cat pony hybrid with a brown mane and a tail and green eyes bumped into Midnight Flower. Wait, that's a thing? <laughs> no. Oh. I was like, wow, that's so it cool. Is now. That it is now. It is now. You could be curiosity. Yeah, alright. Sorry. She's so Curious. shy and timid. <laughs> <laughs> Midnight flower wasn't mean unless it was around Christmas. Ooh, Grinch. I don't really care what happened, but apparently something sad happened to her one Christmas long ago, and now she almost turns into a demon when the time for holiday comes. Midnight Flower glared at Curiosity, then dragged her away using her magic. We knew it. automatically that Curiosity was going to be in trouble. Uh, she always was, and I just stood there at the, as the others dispersed into their own little groups of two. Interesting pacing. I looked around the room, and suddenly felt colder than standing in a pool of ice. I decided to go outside, and so I grabbed my scarf and exited the orphanage. I looked around. Ponies were all around, either caroling, checking out the huge Christmas tree that was always set up around Christmas, or rushing around, trying to get everything done for Christmas. I sighed and started walk 
and started walking towards the large tree. On the branches were always wishes for Christmas instead of ornaments. I heard a squeal of delight and looked to see a filly younger than me jumping up and down in excitement. It was probably because this would be your first time putting a wish upon the tree. I frowned and was about to leave when Moonlit Star came up to me. I forgot to tell you something! She said excitedly. What is it? I asked, a bit unsure. Mo Moonlit Star turned so that I could see her flank. Her uh, what? Behind. Oh, behind. Oh, it's like she's showing her what? <laughs> now I got my cutie mark! Uh, wait, Moonlit got her cutie mark? How had I not noticed that? I looked at her flank and saw her- Oh, like the side where like the mark is. That's what oh, that means. Oh, okay. Now I remember. I was about to be like, huh? And so- <laughs> <laughs> And saw her cutie mark. It was a yin-yang sign with wings. Ooh. What are the wings for? I asked her. You're a unicorn. Yeah, apparently my talent is- Oh, that's you. <laughs> yeah, apparently my talent is balanced, so what- I have no idea. But I can do it! Oh shit, I can do this. Oops. Yeah. Her oh. horn- uh, uh, you go. Okay. Her horn glowed I- why the fuck did I want to say clay? <laughs> I, uh, and transparent wings appeared on her back. She flew around for a bit and then touched the ground again and let her wings disappear. Wow, that's cool. I want to be this pony. I want wings that can just appear out of nowhere. Yeah, it's funny because you're supposed to get your cutie mark after a big event of your life. But she's like, I don't know, I just got it. <laughs> that's pretty really cool. Really, that's canon? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is so cool, I said. I wish I was a unicorn and could do that. Moonlit Star nodded. Anyway, I'm gonna go flying now. I want to get used to this. <laughs> I watched as she made her wings appear again and flew off going towards some of the other ponies. Yeah, I got wings now. Yippee! <laughs> yeah, I, I got the back... cutie mark before you did. See you later, loser. <laughs> well, F you. <laughs> Flies away. I can't even do like a middle finger. Just, it's just like a hoof. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I'm like, can they pick up anything in this universe? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the... the with their mouth. Oh yeah, you're sure right. And then if you actually are like a unicorn, you can like levitate shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I looked back at the tree and frowned once again before walking away. As I was walking, I heard a door open and then the skid walk- I'm kidding, I didn't think too much of the company. And barely missed a broken mirror flying at me. I turned at the pony who threw it. It was the mirror seller throwing- Mirrors. Oh, throwing mirrors? <laughs> I guess. You could be the mirror person. Sorry! I didn't see you there! <laughs> it's fine. I murmured as he closed the back door to the mirror shop. Uh, I turned and looked at the broken mirror. It was horribly cracked, but I could see my own reflection. I looked at myself, seeing a white pony with a golden mane and tailed silver eyes. Now we know what they look like! And staring back at me, I stretched out my wings, looking at them. Oh, they got wings. Oh. Wait, we, we <laughs> have wings? Yeah, I guess so. I thought we did. We, we found this out. I thought we were it's... some boring ass pony. <laughs> <sighs> Apparently. It's been forever since I looked at you guys. I said quietly to nobody, talking about my wings. I hadn't unfolded them since the incident that caused my parents' <laughs> death and sent me to the orf. Oh my goodness. Damn, oh my sucks. goodness. Damn, bitch. Was it a fly? My wings. <laughs> Maybe. My wings had some golden and silver feather on them, but they were nothing special. It's just like gold. I refolded them and walked away from the mirror. I didn't want to be reminded of my family right now, so I went back to the tree. A group of ponies were singing in front of the tree, and a large group of ponies gathered around them. You know, that's that's an interesting plot. I wish I knew that sooner, though. Wait, what plot? Like, you know, not being a pegasus that doesn't use their wigs because of an incident. That's pretty good. Yeah. I give them a plus for that. I was small for my age, so I was able to squeeze to the front of the crowd. There were five ponies in all, four boys and one girl. They were singing a song that I didn't recognize. 
and when they finished, I went up to the girl. Um, excuse me? I said. She looked at me and smiled. You can be her. Hello. What do you need? No. <laughs> um, I just want you to know. What was this? <laughs> I want you to know asks a question. <laughs> what was that song you were singing? I don't really know any songs. Or uh, holiday songs. It was called Carol of the Bells. <laughs> oh, is the linked song. Oh, let's go. That <laughs> <laughs> that made me smile. It was so close to my name, Caroling Bells. Whoa. Thanks, I said before running off. I wondered if my parents liked Christmas and named me after song. No. That I went back to walking around Ponyville, but went back to the tree about an hour later when there was nothing to do. Many of the ponies have already left, and it was quiet at the tree. I was bored and wanted to do something at the orphanage for Christmas, but I knew that wasn't possible. I sighed. My breath coming out in white billows of air. Ooh. It was always the same. I would get out of the orphanage before Christmas, have a little fun, then get all bored because there was nothing to do at the orphanage. If there were- if we even mentioned Christmas to Midnight Flower, we would get in big trouble. No, Midnight Flower's gonna beat our flanks. My wings felt a bit- uh, can you go for this one? For the rest? Yeah. I'm trying- that plot makes me think of something, I can't put my- Oh shit, it was like a Orange. dog Christmas movie. It, it, like- Air- Air- bu Santa Buddies? Not Santa Buddies, it was the one before that and whatnot. It was like this big dog that like, Santa put like a necklace on. Like it was a stuffed dog. Yeah! And he put like a crystal and whatnot. And yeah. And they go to fucking real life New York City and like this dog teaches this orphanage about Christmas and then the- the- what- but the head orphan orphanage lady that's in charge is like the search for Santa paws. Yeah, I think that's right. And then she throws all the Christmas stuff in the the furnace, and like the dog almost dies because he turned back into a stuffed animal. <laughs> yeah, and then there's a, a bunch of sequels. Yeah, yeah. I remember Snow Buddies being a sequel to it because they made a point that the Santa uh, dog thing had a bunch of kids, and one of them snuck off and landed where the snow, where the little buddies were. <laughs> that's awesome. My wings, right. uh, was it my wings fell a bit uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. My wings fell a bit uncomfortable, so I unfolded them again. Maybe it will be fun to fly for a bit, then returns to the orphanage. I was out for so long, Midnight Flower's probably worrying her head off. I fly my wings a bit, and it felt so large and unnatural. I was so small. I decided to go into the empty field by the orphanage and practice there. As I went there, I couldn't help but feeling lonely as I passed a bunch of ponies getting ready for Christmas. I didn't know much about it, but I knew it would be fun. I, I got to the field, which was empty, and started practicing my flying. I had the feeling that it would be just another winter this year. Wait, what the- oh Can you read this part too? <laughs> oh, the, the author's note? Yeah. Alright. Wait, like, no. It says, anyway, I'm a fish, and I'll see you later, kittens. I meant that part. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'm a fish. See you later, kittens. That's such an interesting, like, log off. Yeah. I never been... I never been... Oh. Called a, a kitten after someone just told me that they're a fish. <laughs> yeah, the this is a version. new... This is a new experience for me. Oh my gosh, nine years ago. Yeah, some ponies, four days. Oh my god, good times. All right, what's this one called? Just another holiday. Yep, just just another. <laughs> yes, cat. Let's go to Wattpad HQ. Ha ha ha. Yes, I would. Wool love to put holes in their heads. Metal clicks. My gun is loaded. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm reading the comments. Dude, comments are always cursed on Wattpad, but they're so interesting. <laughs> right. My favorite ones are when like there's a gay couple and they and they do something like slightly gay. No, yeah, yeah, they do something slightly gay and then the, like there's 200 comments being like that's gay, that's gay. <laughs> so gay, dude. Yeah. Like congratulations. Yeah. All right. Just another holiday. All right, let's see. I returned back to the orphanage once I had enough of crashing into snow. Okay, I muttered to myself. My talent is obviously not flying. I looked at my fly. Wait, flank? Yeah, flank. It was still blank. But most ponies thought I was younger than I actually am. So they thought it would be fine. So, yeah. So they thought it was fine that I had a blank flank. 
It's not like I really care, though. I wouldn't even care if I, if I never got my cutie mark. Just as long as I didn't have to spend another stupid Christmas in that stupid orphanage. True. It's not like I, I, I care anything. It's, it's not like right. I care. I, I'm just a press and stuck in an orphanage. I got back to the orphanage to find Midnight Flower yelling at another, uh, an, at another of the ponies, uh, Pine Light, who had wrapped her dark green coat in Christmas lights and pretended to be a Christmas tree. I like that visual. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. It's almost like it's giving like ugly Christmas sweater vibes, you know. But it's yourself. That, yeah, that's cool. Apparently, she got her cutie mark for it because her flank was now a picture of a pine tree with lights on it. And boy, did that make Midnight Flower mad. Why would imagine she be mad? your life. Imagine your life, Mark, being gained because you dressed up as a Christmas tree. Yeah, that's these, that's awesome. Didn't you say that these were like big moments, like big turning yeah. stones for these characters? Imagine your big turning stone that gives you. He's dressing up as a tree. You were like, "Hey guys, check this out!" Wow. Also, Imagine mine being like me tripping over something that's yeah. a picture of someone falling, and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it can ha it can strike anyone at any moment. <laughs> like you God. accidentally light your like accidentally cause like a house fire and then your cutie mark yeah, shit. Like, oh shit, I'm an artist. What's that? Uh uh <laughs> Man, interesting visual. I noticed that Angel Wing, another one of the ponies stuck here, was looking at me from the from a different room. I understood immediately what she wanted to do. I ran into the room before Midnight Flower could get mad at me for no reason. Thanks for saving me, Angel, I said, as Angel Wings used her magic to close the door behind me. Does every pony here know magic? <laughs> Except for uh Car Caroling Bells, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's just a Pegasus. That's all she. That's all she is. And that's she all smiled. Ever be. <laughs> <laughs> she smiled. No problem, Belle. Anyway, do you know where the others went? I haven't seen Curiosity since Miss Midnight got mad at her, and Moonlit Star left a bit ago. I know that Pine Light is in there getting yelled at, and Ocean Glow is right behind you. But where's Curiosity and Moonlit Star? What interesting names. <laughs> uh, yep, they're My Little Pony names. They're yeah. not out of the ordinary, I'd say. What, um... What vibe is this giving me? It's, what is that warrior cat thing? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't one, I, I wasn't a warrior cat kid, but I had friends that were. Yeah, I feel like it's giving that for some reason. I'm yeah. <laughs> That's the same timeline. Yeah. I frowned. I haven't seen Moonlight for a while. I think she wants to fly around with her magic wings. Curiosity is probably going to show up later, a voice said behind me. I turned to see Ocean Glow. She's probably just hiding somewhere, scared to come out. I nodded. Curiosity was, obviously, the most curious out of all of us. Is that how she got her name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But she also got scared easily. It was like she acted like a cat. I opened my mouth and to say something when I heard a poof sound and saw a, a cyan cloud of magic to my left. I, I turned to it. Standing in the middle of it was M Moonlight Star, looking surprised. That was awesome, she said, jumping into the air. I didn't know I could teleport! Holy holy cow, these kids are having such life-changing moments right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, Pine Light came in, no longer wrapped in Christmas lights. She looked very scared and sat down and stared at her hooves. She's reflecting on her reflection right now. She's like, why, why was it this? Why did I get my cutie mark for this? Yeah. <laughs> She's like in the chair me, like looking down. <laughs> Being like, why? It's like the Evangelion chair. Yeah! <laughs> I looked That's around awesome. the inside. This place was horrible around Christmas. Even if some of my friends try to make it better. I just wish I could make it this better, I thought to myself. I shook my head and stared and started to go deep into thought, not wanting to get caught up in my own mind, and turned to Angel Wing. Hey Angel, 
I asked her quietly. She looked at me, and the little halo she was trying to, to get onto her head with her magic fell on the ground. She asked. Is it just me? Or do you think there's a way we can get this holiday season to not be so boring and scurry? Saying scurry instead of scary was a little inside joke between Angel and I from a couple years ago, and I still keep up with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know why you just go on like that really made me laugh. You're like, uh, wow. They have ADHD. You're like, wow, that's interesting. Anyway. <laughs> Angel only looked at me like I was crazy. Are you kidding? She said. There's no way that could happen as long as we're stuck in this place. What's wrong with the orphanage is not wanting kids to have fun, goddammit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like Annie. Yeah. No fun. Yeah, no fun. I mean, I mean it's not, I mean, it's pretty accurate, but yeah. <laughs> I sighed. I knew that perfectly, I knew that perfectly well, but I didn't want it want to expect it. There had to be a way to not have such a boring Christmas this year. There just had to be. I said the orphanage. <laughs> Ends right there. <laughs> <laughs> the end, yeah! <laughs> it walked out with my star. I walked around and stopped at the tree. Everyone in Ponyville put a wish on the tree, except for me. I haven't thought of anything yet, but I had an idea of what to write, and I also had a thought. How the fuck do they write? <laughs> they don't have their, fingies! Their hordes or their mouths, I guess. Yeah. Should be hard to do. I had- I was proven by a- by the mayor that everyone in Ponyville put a wish on the tree, and if I'm the only one who hasn't- So yeah, that means that Midnight Flower put one on the tree too, I thought. I looked at my wings and unfolded them again. Midnight Flower put a wish on the tree, then she put a- put it up high. Where only Pegasus and her and her magic can reach. So I knew I had to use my wing. But she gonna take it down and just be like, no, you don't get your wish. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. Honestly that's, that's so petty sad. and I love it. That's petty as hell. I gulped. I was terrible at flying. But that didn't matter at the moment. If I found out what Midnight Flower wanted, I could fix all this and get this year to be Wait, and this year, it wouldn't be just another ho- Oh, she's gonna try making a wish come true. That was a lot better than my plan. I thought she was gonna be <laughs> sabotage. Honestly, that's what I would do if I was having a, a, a mean bitch like that. Anyway, I'm a nervous phoenix right now. <laughs> what? Munching Brotato is a cat. Sit Seto is a sorcerer. Sub is a faceless animator. Caroling Bells is probably insane to, for trying to fly. And I'll see you later, fellow fishies and kittens. Man, I huh. haven't seen munching brotato in such a while, Jesus. I've been like a decade at this point. Which is, this is what, when this has been made. Yeah. Almost a decade ago. Really? I thought it was like 2018. I was like only for oh, five years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> Just a, another Christmas. Such a long time ago. What the fuck? <laughs> I know. Don't think about it too hard. Yeah. Great, just another Christmas. I can start this one. Alright. Alright. I flew up to the top of the tree, where there was about 20 wishes scattered. I looked at all of them and threw them- just kidding. I would it would take about 15 to 30 minutes to find which one was Midnight Flowers. All ponies were required to sign their wishes. I began to search, which was really hard because I had to keep my balance while flying. Eventually, there was just one left among the top 20 on the tree. I grabbed it and flew back to the ground. I looked at it and smiled. So Midnight Flower had a wish after all. It was really sweet. All she wanted for Chris was to meet up with her sister, who disappeared a while ago on Christmas Eve, and hear her favorite Christmas song, which was Mary Did You Know. I heard it before. It was a good song. I took the paper back to the orphanage, making sure that Midnight Flower didn't see it. I ran into the bedroom that me, Moonlit Star, and Angel Wink shared. They were both in there talking when they saw me burst into the room with a paper. Moonlit frowned. Belle, what's that? She asked. Oh, sorry. I set it down on a table. This, my furry friends, I said. <laughs> it, it, Midnight Flowers Christmas Wish. Here you go ahead. 
your eyes widen. But I thought she hated Christmas! Angel said disbelievingly. She does, but she still has a wish. It's to hear her favorite Christmas song, Mary Did You Know. I'm just gonna rat out her secret wish to all you guys. <laughs> it to see her sister, Violet Bloom, once again. I honestly think it's adorable. I started talking with Moonlit and Angel about my plan, and the next day, we shared our ideas with Ocean Glow, Pine Light, and Curiosity. They all seemed uncertain at first, but I'm pretty sure by the end they all had as much hope for this project as I did. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, I was scrolling down. So, what you're telling us is that if, that we need to find Violet Bloom, who you've tracked down in the town only a couple miles from here, bring her back? Use the week we have before Christmas to learn and practice Mary Did You Know without Midnight Flower finding <laughs> out, and then at Christmas we get her by the tree and surprise her with the performance of Mary Did You Know and her sister? <laughs> yes! Yup, that's exactly what I meant, actually. Yeah, that's You literally said all of it. You literally just repeated my sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Wow. Ocean Glow said. This is gonna be hard. Anyway, who's going to go get Violet Bloom and come back here? We are! <laughs> okay, Patrick. <laughs> uh, who the fuck? Oh, Angel, that's it. We both have wings so we can get there faster, Angel said. Yes, she's a ale alicorn. <laughs> Got a problem with that? So, actually, the, the lore about that is that... People get mad in the community if your OC is an alicorn, because that's supposed to be really special. So, oh. that's why they said that. Oh, so have wings and have a, a horn. unicorn horn? Oh, damn. Yes. He's playing with fire right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, the community's wild. And We're gonna, like, own. review the comment section, and they're gonna be like, How dare you make an alicorn OC? Only I can! <laughs> that is so disrespectful to the source material. <laughs> Actually. Is there Twilight Sparkle in the court? Yeah, but they... that's an exception. Yeah, I, gu I guess there has to be a main one that would- yeah. <laughs> and even if Velvet Plume isn't a Pegasus, Moonlight should be able to use her magic to create wings for her temporarily. Never saw that happen. I guess- I don't know. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Anything could happen with magic. Yeah, you don't know anything magic. <laughs> <laughs> I nodded. Anyways, guys, I think it's time to start this project that I want to call Operation No Longer Just Another Christmas, or Operation Noljek, for short. I don't know how they're gonna remember that. The next week and two days was a blur. We met Violet Bloom, who was happy to help us practice Mary, did you know? and made sure Midnight Flower knew nothing of what we were doing. So, Chris if it was this easy to drag down Violet Bloom, couldn't she just, like, write to her sister and be like, Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Can we, like, get a coffee or <laughs> No, everyone else is figuring it out better, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas came quickly, and before we knew it, we were dragging Midnight Flower along with us to the large Christmas tree in Ponyville Center, making up excuses to get her to come. Midnight Flower wasn't very happy about it, but she came. Many of the other ponies in Ponyville knew what was going on, so there was a large crowd in front of the area which, where, no, of the area we would be performing in. We each had these little earpiece microphones that would make our voices loud enough to be heard, but not too loud. Alright, thanks. I waited while the others went to get Violet Bloom, and I saw her coming over. I looked over to Midnight Flower, who was talking... Still with some of the other ponies on this operation. I looked around the crowd and realized that among them were groups of five ponies that were singing Care of the Bells when I first came to the tree. The girl of the group, who I learned was named Red Velvet, smiled at me and I smiled right back. I took a deep breath as Violet Bloom reached me with the others and let curiosity get everyone's attention. Hello! <laughs> said Lally. Immediately getting every pony's attention. In honor of Christmas, the six of us have taken a wish and fulfilled that wish for some some pony who gets for, yeah whatever spent whatever listen to our song. <laughs> Here's our mixtape. <laughs> Here's our mixtape, guys. Violet Bloom was out of sight of Midnight Flower as I smiled at 
as Curiosity kept talking. The pony whose wish we chose was... Midnight Flower! Midnight Flower stared at us, shocked, and I grinned largely. Curiosity kept talking. You see- Oh my god, now she's just- Just, just like- dump it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, uh, here's their personal information. Yeah, this is where Lila Bloom lives, actually. Here's her exact <laughs> IP address. At 6947... <laughs> no, 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 no! You see, on Christmas Eve many years ago, Midnight Flower's sister, Violet Bloom, went missing. She went missing? And she was just right around the corner? I guess so. And Midnight Flower's wish was to see her again. She stopped, smiled, and let Violet Bloom come out. Okay, that was easy. Uh, Midnight Flower looked so happy, and immediately ran up to her sister, engulfing her in a pony-style hug, or whatever you call it. Ponies and, uh... Ponies stubbed their hooves, pony equivalent to clapping. This is true. And this time it was my turn to speak. But that's not all! Oh, that's you. That's not all! We also have a very special performance for you! The Christmas song, Mary Did You Know! They really like pentatonics. Yeah. I stopped talking, and we got ready to sing. I was a nervous wreck. We were singing without music, and I honestly worried that we were going to mess up horribly. I waited silently for Curiosity to start her part, and we began singing. Just pretend this is like the pentatonics version of it, just with younger girls who are still good at singing. There are six of them, not five. Mary, did you know? The song ended, and applause surrounded us. I was grinning hugely. It was so much fun to do that. I looked over at Midnight Flower. She looked so happy that I almost expected her to break down into tears. It was almost perfect, just missing one thing. I looked up at the bell on Ponyville Tower and had an idea. To end it all, I flew up to it, for once not losing my balance in the sky. It stopped right next to the bell. I kicked as hard as I could, and a ding-dong sound filled the area. I flew back down to my friends, who were smiling and looking at me like I had just done something amazing. I must have looked at them funny, because Ocean Glow grinned wider, and I pointed at my flank. <gasps> now this... This is special. I looked at it, and that's when I realized this, it was no longer blank. Instead, filling the white emptiness place with a bell with two holly leaves on it. <gasps> I, I smiled. It matched my name, Caroling Bells. Let's go. I thought that... <laughs> Let's go, guys. Uh, clip in the chat, guys. <laughs> Did you more I, thought <laughs> <laughs> I thought the day was already amazing, but when I saw Red Velvet in the orphanage talking with Midnight Flower and apparently waiting to adopt me, the day just got better. Oh, I had a no. family, a cutie mark, and I finally got the chance to have a Christmas that wasn't just another Christmas. Let's go. You can read this part. All right. A paper fluttered on the ground. For gun. And alone. That's what paper is. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a pony in sight. They were all, all too busy opening Christmas gifts or caroling. But the paper had a certain sparkle on it. Someone dumped a bunch of glitter on it. <laughs> it, was, it, it I had to wash my hooves after. It was yeah. that clean. <laughs> <laughs> on the paper, in the handwriting that belonged to a pony about ten, had a note, a wish, and an unneeded, an, an unneeded wish that had... Wait, an unneeded wish that had been made not that long before it was discarded. The wish had a certain little sparkle to its words, which were easily recognized by how they were written. I wish that, for once, for, for once at least, I could have more than just another Christmas. Caroling bells. Aww. That's she got her so wish! Cute. She made it. She had to do it herself, but like she got her. <laughs> nah, that part was really cute. Yeah, it, the pacing was weird because it was a kid, but it was cute and it's silly. Yeah, you know what? This is a lot better than the some fan fiction I've read. You know, I, I would give this a solid like seven and a half. I feel like it could be like a little bit longer, just like a like, few yeah. more paragraphs, a little bit more detail. I feel like they could have had a chapter for um, like finding the, the pony because that wasn't really mentioned but they did say in the previous chapter uh, that they had like a, a quick 
<laughs> a quick uh, due date yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I, I wish we got to see more of the dynamic with all the orphan children so we could, like, you know, like, care about them a little bit. Yeah, instead wish... of like, oh, there's one there, there's one there. Yeah, a little bit more of, like, a description, you know? Make me care about why I give a shit about curiosity and ocean glow and shit like that, but, like, other than that, it's solid 7.5. Yeah, yes. It, it was not terrible for a child that likes My Little Pony 2014. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can recommend this to someone that likes My Little Pony. Well, they have an art book on here. Oh, we love artists on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a Minecraft OC. I had one 2014. Oh, a bunch of Minecraft ones. That's awesome. This reminds me of how I drew when I was a kid. Ah, oh, good times. 2014, guys. Do you have, like, Every your old sketchbooks or some shit that, like, has your old drawings? Yeah, I have a middle school one from, like, 8th grade. That's as far back as I got, though. And actually, I got a couple, like, loose pages of middle school ones. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll show you them sometime. Uh, so Alright, every pony. Uh, <laughs> happy New Year. I think this will be the first Wattpad video that was recorded after 2023, so... I'm, gl <laughs> I'm glad you're in here, man! <laughs> Yippee! Yeah, what do they call it? Uh... Uh... Wreaths... something? It's not Christmas! That was not lore accurate! They mm. don't celebrate Christmas, they celebrate like a whole different thing. Whatever, it's they have fine. their own religion, their own practices... <laughs> Well, these people, these ponies practice Christmas, yeah, and they, so do we. Yeah, so, Merry yeah. Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Happy uh, the, the Pony Christmas. Yeah. Does that Thanks. mean that the, there's an existence of a pony Jesus? Uh. Anyway. I, uh, uh, that's for another video. Yeah, that's a, diff that's a different book. <laughs> Maybe we'll find one, who knows. Yeah. But, uh. Gotta be out there. Yeah, I'll have this link down below in the description. Maybe you want to read with your friends. Maybe your friends are big ass My Little Pony fans, I and they want to bring back some good old memories. Yeah, go ahead, man. Show this with your bronies. Show this with your Pega sisters. Oh, and then uh, <laughs> th thank you for joining me once again and whatnot. I don't, I don't have to be here often, but when I do, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> I, I'm very glad to hear. I'm glad to join you. Yeah. Oh, I have uh, Gummy's card linked down below in the description. Follow them on Patreon. Uh, follow them on Twitter. Uh, ask for uh, permission and pay them. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But uh, but anyway, uh, my name is Phoenix. That was Gummy, and I I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye, bye. Bye, buddies. Friendship is magic. It sure is. <laughs>